what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video where today we are going to be doing one of the most requested videos on my YouTube channel. And if you guys don't know what that is, it has to do with these bad boys right here. These are the SteelSeries Arctis 9X wireless headset. And I filmed a video on this approximately one year ago when I first got them. I've probably seen over 50 comments talking about are these headphones, after having them for so long, are they still as good as you said they were in the video? So in this video, we're going to talk about are these headphones as good as I said they were one year ago? First off, I want to say if you guys have not seen the video of me unboxing and reviewing these bad boys a year ago, I'd have to say go ahead and check it out now. Links in the description down below. Or you can just look up Steel Series headset review. You'll probably find mine. It's got 43,000 views. But yeah, so I want to get into the reason that I originally wound up buying this headset right here. The reason I got this was because I was a big gamer. I was a live streamer. Uh, I played Call of Duty a lot. And I wanted to be able to have a wireless headset that I was able to listen to what was going on on my computer and my Xbox all at the same time. And this was a wireless headset that does that, and it still does that, and it works amazing. But there is problems with the headset, and there's one major one that everybody should know, especially if you are a live streamer. You need to know about this, because it will piss you off, and you'll be very unhappy with it. So that being said, I do want to first say that this headset quality is amazing. Very comfortable, especially with the support band up here. Very, very comfortable. It feels like the headset is floating on your head. It's awesome. Also, the sound quality is absolutely amazing. It's comfy. Every, it hit every single thing, and it also does work by allowing you to hear what's going on on your Xbox as well as on your computer. It's awesome. The main problem that I first noticed is when I started to live stream for the first time. I had my headset hooked up to my Xbox so I could hear what was playing in my Xbox, which is awesome. And then I also had it hooked up to my computer so I could hear the music that I was playing in the background of my live stream. But when I live stream, I use a platform called Streamlabs OBS. If you guys don't know what that is, you must get Streamlabs OBS. And honestly, there's a software version that you can upgrade to called Streamlabs OBS Prime. You get Streamlabs Prime, you're gonna, your streams are gonna get so much better. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I made a video about that as well. It's gonna be in the link in the description. Streamlabs Prime, really, really good thing that you can get and it'll help your streams out, guaranteed. I also have an affiliate code with it that you guys get $10 off if you buy a full year worth or you get $9 off per month. So check out that link in the description down below. Very, very, very good. But to continue, I stream with Streamlabs OBS Prime. So I use the software and then I have my music playing and then I have my Xbox with the game. So it's all connected to these headphones. Now, the only problem I ran into, which is the most frustrating thing ever, is when you know when somebody follows or subscribes on Twitch and it pops up on their screen and it, and it plays a sound, or it's like, you know, a clapping or a cheering or whatever it is, and it says, this person subscribed. As soon as that thing pops up on your headphones and you hear it, this person subscribed right in your ears, it immediately only picks up whatever goes into Streamlabs OBS then for the rest of time until you reset your headphones or go to your output on your computer and select like different speakers and then go back to these and then it'll reset it and you'll hear the music again on your computer. So basically all I'm trying to say is that it literally picks up one output at a time on your computer. If you're listening to music on your YouTube and then you go ahead and watch a video on like a Windows player on your computer, it literally will stop picking up the sound of your music and only play the Windows player until you reset the headphones by turning them off and turning them back on or you have to go ahead and switch the outputs and switch them again. And like I said, it is the most annoying thing ever. SteelSeries almost got these headphones perfect besides for that one thing that absolutely makes these headphones an absolute nuisance. If you are just a person that likes to play Xbox and listen to your computer at the same time, these are a great pair of headphones. They're really, really good sound quality. You can you can sound whore people, which if you don't, that means. I mean, you listen really, really high volume to people coming around the corners and you can easily hear them coming before they get there so you can be ready for a gunfight. It's a really, really, really good headphone. The microphone quality is awesome as well. It has this microphone here. I don't know if you guys know, but it pulls right out and it goes right back in. But it's a really, really good headset. The only problem, like I said, is that one thing. Also something I've noticed, if you like to play with people in-game Call of Duty or in-game any game on Xbox, as, and I'm talking for Xbox because these are Xbox and uh, PC headphones, but 
if you like to talk to people in game and you're a live streamer, their voices, their voices that they're saying, your stream will not be able to hear. Reason being for that is because these are wireless and your sound that comes in from your Xbox in these headphones will not go into your computer. There's probably ways that you can work around this. I'm not 100% sure myself. I think you could probably use like the Elgato uh, chat thing, stream chat or whatever. Um, but I, I've had a super difficult time getting these to be compatible with live streaming. Very, very, very difficult. And I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you guys, there's nothing better than just a wired pair of headphones that go to your Xbox and they also go to your computer. You get a pair of headphones like that, you'll never have problems. The only thing is that these are wireless and I thought they'd be super nice because it's wireless and it's supposed to do everything and it just didn't work. I still use them on live stream every single day. I still use them all the time because that's what I have and I got them. Um, if I could go back, I would not get these again because I'm a streamer. If I was just a gamer and I just played video games or I just played competitive Call of Duty or whatever, great headset. Go ahead and get it. If you're a streamer, I recommend, or even if you're a streamer or even a YouTuber, I recommend just not getting these because it just doesn't work. So everybody that's asked in my last YouTube video, would I get these headphones again? Do I think they're as good as I thought they were a year ago? I love them but they do not work for what I tried to do. And that's being a live streamer, that's being a YouTuber. It did not work. Being a gamer, hell yes. Get these things, they're great. I can't reiterate it enough. You're gonna run into some major problems on your computer mainly when you're live streaming that will irritate you to the point of insanity. I, I'm telling you, it drove me nuts. I spent days, weeks trying to figure out how to make these things work and nothing. And I'm telling you guys, don't even try to search up how to fix them. I tried everything in the book and it will not work. If you guys did enjoy this video, it is 100% the truth. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified every time I upload a video. Hit that like button. Also leave a comment down below if you had any experiences with the Steel Series Arctis 9X or maybe you have a mysterious fix that I just can't find for the last year on how to fix this issue that I've had. But guys, like I said, great headset, not for streaming, not for YouTube, definitely just for gaming. And yeah, if you guys are interested, there's links down below in the description of where you can pick up a set of these headphones for yourself. There's a link to my old Steel Series video. There's a link to the Streamlabs Prime video down, down below. Like I told you guys, you definitely should get Streamlabs Prime. It's a great thing. You even get a big discount. Like it's, it's almost half, I think it's half off if you use my code, which is unbelievable. So just go there and check it out, guys. I hope you guys come back for the next video. And without further ado, I'm gonna love you and leave you with a nice old adios.